So let's take a look at just one more application of where convergent modeling technology can help the design engineer when working with facet geometry. In this case, we're going to see how a bitmap file that has been converted into a convergent body can be used to engrave a key blank. Here you can see we have a fully featured key designed in NX. The only thing that's missing is the area around the finger grip. We unblank the tool body that we're going to use to define the key grip area and then subtract it from the key itself. This key grip area is perfectly fine but it's a little plain so let's see what we can do to smarten it up. The first thing we do is to delete the boolean subtract we've just done. The next thing we do is to trim our tool body using one of the convergent bodies that is a translated or converted bitmap file. Notice that the output will be a facet body. As you can see from the part navigator, the new convergent geometry is seen as an extracted body. So we hide the convergent body we used to trim the tool body and then go back through and subtract the tool body from the key blank. But this time, let's see what different effect we get. Convergent modeling technology has allowed us to take the converted bitmap file and use it to engrave the key finger grip area. Something that if you were trying to do using normal modeling techniques would be a lot trickier to do. So what if we had a range of keys? How would we approach that? In this particular instance, all we need to do is to edit the trim body and actually replace the tool with another convergent body selected from the part navigator. This time the engraving is far more intricate. It's actually a picture of a gorilla's face and would be impossible to model using normal solid modeling techniques. Let's take a look at one more engraving option for the key. Again, we go through the same process of editing the trim body, replacing the tool with another convergent body from the part navigator and then updating. This time you can see the engraving is even more intricate than the Gorilla one and again just illustrates how powerful convergent modeling can be for modeling with facet geometry.